Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hawksness here back with another Call of Duty mobile video. Now, in today's video, we have Road to Damascus. I haven't uploaded a Road to Damascus in like, I think like a week or something like that. It's been a really long time. But anyway, in today's episode of Road to Damascus, we are doing the AGR-556, the brand new SMG inside of Call of Duty mobile. People have called it an SMG AR hybrid. It is kind of an SMG AR hybrid in the fact that you can add a attachment that makes it more like an AR, but it doesn't actually turn the weapon to an AR. It still has basically the same mobility as the normal SMG. Uh, it still has the same material penetration. It has all of the same stuff except for the stats that are listed, which as you can tell with the 5.56 rounds, uh, we do get boosted at damage, range, and magazine capacity. I'll elaborate a little bit more on exactly what attachments I'm using and why I'm using it. Uh, I do plan on doing a whole separate video covering the AGR as like a, uh, a weapon guide, but this video will just serve more so for the road to Damascus. It's not like I'm going to be telling you all the stats and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, this is the class that I did use for most of the time as I was grinding the weapon. I still haven't got it gold quite yet. We will be doing that inside of this episode. Uh, I think currently we're like nine headshots away from getting it gold. Yeah, nine headshots away from getting it gold. I have every other camo, so that's literally the last thing we have to do before we actually get this thing gold. And again, this is a class that I decided to use. I do think there's a couple variations of the class and, and a couple things that you could change. But I think the attachments that are basically required is the OWC, the granulated grip tape, and the magazine is not required, but I think having a magazine is required, uh, whether it's the 30 round 5.56 or the extended mag, although I probably wouldn't recommend the 60 round unless you're trying this inside a BR. Uh, but yeah, I think a magazine is definitely required with this weapon, with one of them being either the extended mag or 30 round. Uh, if you guys wanna know a quick difference between the extended mag versus the 30 round, again, I'll do a whole video covering it. Uh, but basically, when you're using the normal magazine or the extended mag with the AGR, you have to be hitting upper body shots. When I say have to, I just I mean like if you want to get the most out of the gun you have to be hitting those upper body shots uh, but as soon as you put on the 556 five, rounds you don't necessarily have to hit the upper body you can actually hit a little bit more leg shots uh, so the 556 five, round is a lot more forgiving but again you do lose some fire rate and you also are going to be losing some uh, recoil so the potential time to kill is not as good but it is easier to get those time to kills again i'll break it down more in a video uh, but that is like a quick explanation of the differences between the two in terms of what one i prefer i really don't know i don't feel a big difference between between the two I feel like I get pretty much a very similar average time to kill uh, but personally I have been liking the 30 round 556 mag a little bit more lately at first I thought I liked the normal extended mag uh, but then I tried the 556 a little bit more felt like I liked that one a little bit more honestly I've been going back and forth again I'm gonna have to do more tests and just try to like figure it out statistically uh, but yeah right now it's kind of a toss-up for me what one I like more but lately I've been using the 556 rounds and that's what you're gonna be seeing me use inside of today's video in terms of all the other attachments my goal is just to make this thing as accurate as possible because this weapon does not have a lot of accuracy and also it kicks pretty hard uh, as you can tell my control does go down a little bit that's mostly from the 556 rounds if I switch you can tell that my control is just normal but yeah so i basically just added a bunch of attachments to help with the accuracy just so i can use this thing at a little bit longer ranges because this thing doesn't shred up close so it's not really worth it to be playing it like a qq9 or a uh a Fennec or an MSMC or anything like that. So I built it to be a little bit more mid-range, anywhere from like the 10 to 20 meter mark, because uh, that's where it kind kind of shines. It's not like it's the best gun at those ranges, but it's really solid. Right now, based on the stats that I have tested and the gameplay that I have gotten with the weapon, I would consider it maybe like a tier two weapon, maybe even tier three, maybe. I wouldn't call it a top weapon, but I think it can kind of hang with the top weapons. Uh, again, my opinion might change the more that I actually test it and stuff like that. But right now where it stands, I just think it's okay. I think it's a balanced weapon. If anything, I would maybe buff it a little bit especially the 556 i think the 556 round should do normal damage to the legs because right now it's an smg so you do reduce damage to the legs but i would prefer it if the 556 rounds made it so you just dealt normal damage to the legs i think that'd be a pretty good uh, a pretty good balance change for the weapon but yeah i do have one game that i do want to show you guys it was a super high kill game and it was just super entertaining throughout the entire game it was a nuketown game and i was just running and gunning everywhere so i'm going to show you guys that game and then we'll cut back to me actually getting these last nine headshots and then we'll take a peek at what the gold agr looks like so with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the gameplay. Actually, before we get into the gameplay, the reason that my camera is green, by the way, is because I was live streaming on the official COD Mobile channel. And obviously green is like the theme for this season since it's going dark. So that's why my camera background was green. Just to let you know, let's go. I mean, a headshot. So let's just play edge of the map, kind of head glitch a little bit here. Try to tap up heads. We're going to have to play this to perfection if we want to win the game. I mainly want headshots, but still, if we want to win the game also. Oh, I'm dead. 
nice. No, I got shot from the side. That was tough. As soon as the RC car came, I was I knew I was dead. All right, let's try to save the RC car until I get to a position where it'd be like an easy headshot. Like right here. What way? What way? Oh, this should be pretty easy. It's moving. Or run. Hey! Oh, good job, teammate. Nice. Call UAV, I need some vision. Slide away! Alright, we got the RC car. Trust the RC car. That was not the right person, RC car. You are very confused. Oh, I should, probably should have gotten that kill. We're actually kind of going off on them. We were getting ran at the start, but... Oh, how the tables have turned. Slide. Bad position. Hello? Alright, we need headshots, bro. I have like three in this game. Oh, thank you for the drone. I'm dead. I'm not. Oh, get wrecked. I kind of screwed that up a little bit, but it still worked out. Top. That's not. No. Run. I think I'm dead. Okay, I didn't get shot in the back. All right, RC car. Let's get headshots here, man. Put in some work. Yes, let's go. Pop that out. One B. Can we get him off? Oh, my nade hit. What? I meant to drop shot right there, but it, it didn't somehow. Hello. Teammate, I need help. Oh, okay, thank you, teammate. All right, did they come inside? Oh, you guys get ran right now. We're only a bloodthirsty. Yeah, I thought we were higher. Our scar. Put in work. Okay, it put in work, but I was away from it. We weren't in sync. Ha, that was perfect. Oh, that was a headshot. Lol. Slide. Oh. I just want to keep it rolling here. Nice. What the merciless? All right, RC, what do you got for me? No, good beam from that guy. No nuke for us. We did a pretty decent amount of headshots this game, though. I think we posted like six. All things considered. That took me like an entire mag to get that kill. Ah, that too. Hawk, save your shots. Ooh. RC. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yes, let's go. Rolling. This is a very high kill game. I'm not going to lie. The pace of this game is insane. Okay, where are they? Run through. Three, two, one. No! Oh, barely. Oh, I think I'm out of ammo. Yeah, I'm out of ammo. I gotta run over something here. Do I have Vulture? I think I have Vulture. I don't have Vulture. I don't think I do. Oh, reposition. UAV. We still could nuke, actually. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Slide to cover. Bro, we could nuke, actually. Low key. I think I have to get aggressive. We have no time. No, good kill. Every time I say I think we can nuke, we don't. Dang, this is like a 50 kill game. Give it to me. Okay, I want the 50. I want the 50. Just give me one more. No, we got two points like instantly. I think I got 49. <laughs> That was a very, very fast-paced game. Jeez. Okay, so as you can tell, that was a pretty entertaining game. But now, we have to get our nine headshots. Uh, so let's just go ahead and hop into a ranked match and just try to get them done as soon as possible. Right now, I am rocking Hardline along with score streaks that I can just cycle through uh, so that hopefully I can get a ton of Shock RCs, stun people, and shoot them in the head. But without further ado, let's go ahead and go into ranked.
and there we go <laughs> we got it i'm not gonna lie i played really bad like all of those games i switched over to the nine millimeter and then i felt a lot better so i don't know it's weird i literally i told you i switch back and forth all the time i kind of think i prefer nine millimeter right now but like i don't know in 20 minutes i could like five five six more again i really can't tell which one i prefer here we go watch this ready as soon as i press this something's gonna happen three two one boom Look at that, the overlay became gold because I made a gold overlay just so when I get gold, I can feel happier than just getting gold in game. Anyway though, let's go ahead and uh, get some gameplay and see how this looks. Oh, actually, by the way, um, barrels don't get the gold for whatever reason. COD Mobile, please fix, but yeah, barrels don't get the gold. So I think I'm gonna take it off for now and we'll put on something else. All right, I'm just hopping in like a quick uh, King and Pine playlist or whatever. Just cause King looks really cool. I don't know, like the lighting in it just makes guns look sick. You see that? It just looks cool. I don't know. It looks like Modern Warfare. Anyway though, there's the gold. It looks, yo, that looks slick. Did they change it? That looks really nice. It's like, it has more shine to it. It could be the lighting in this building. Like I was saying before, like it just looks cool on this map. I don't know, I think he's below. It's such a cool looking map. Bro, the indoor shine of this is sick. Bro, look at that. That's so cool looking. Did they change gold or is it just cooler on this? Am I tripping? I think he's below again. I don't have dead silence like a rookie. <laughs> it looks so cool. Look at that. Bro, they did something. They made changes. When I get the mask, I don't know, dude. I'm curious if they did something or not or if I'm just tripping. <laughs> it's so sexy, dude. Maybe again, it could just be like the map and being indoors. It just seems like it has more texture to it. Like it doesn't look like painted gold. It actually looks like gold, which is what I requested before. So maybe they just changed it, which is dope. But again, I think it's the lighting in this building also just like adds to the shine. Yo, and he's probably gonna take us off SMGs. So I think that's, I think that's it for us checking out the, the gold hog or EGR. Oh, he did knives. All right, let's ax him. Let's get it over with. Let's get it over with. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> the range on the axe is crazy. What's up? Oh, that probably shouldn't hit. Oh, he's getting destroyed. <laughs> GG. Aug gold looks dope. I'm gonna hop into a, a normal pub real quick, just on like a normal map to see if it looks like that always. Cause that's, that's cool. I really like it. It looks pretty cool in my hand right now. That looked pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know. I think they changed. It either looks really cool on this gun or they changed it. Um, I think the map lighting did make it look better. Something about indoors just makes it look nice. Um, but even then, I think this is my favorite looking gold gun in the game. The gold on this is really, really slick, which gets me hyped for a diamond. I don't know if they changed it. I can't tell, but it, it's just really clean on this. I don't know. I think I'm tripping. All right, let's go and back out. But yeah, it's really nice for sure. All right, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My thoughts on the AGR, it's okay. It's not great. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I think it looks really cool. It's one of my favorite looking guns in the game. And just the way that it feels is pretty nice. But like, I don't know, the recoil and stability is not great. So you have to add a lot of attachments, which means you lose some ADS speed. And the time to kill isn't insane. And you have to hit upper body shots. So again, not crazy. I'll probably do another video talking about it a little bit more in depth. But uh, yeah, this was Road to Damascus. Hope you guys enjoyed. With all that being said, make sure to drop a like and a sub down below if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.